Welcome back. So we're able to insert data to get data. Now let's add the functionality to update and delete it. It isn't that difficult to be honest. I'll start by copying this insert Mongo code here and insert it here in my update route. And this update route, of course, also needs to have an item. So I will add this here, also copy this. But we need one more thing to identify it. We need an ID because we need to, the ID of the item which should be updated. So the item alone isn't enough. Because yes, we could search for the title, but we might have two items with the same title and so on. So we need the unique ID. That's no problem though. It will be submitted as I've set up the form accordingly and it will be found in the body of our request and will have a name of ID. And this is because in the update form here, I got this field here ID, which has the name of ID. So these are all the, this is the data I need. Now I'm connecting to the database, but I'll replace insert one with update one. Also the parameters have to be changed. I no longer just pass the item, but I pass the first parameter, how to identify the, the data to be changed, and the second parameter, what the new data should be like. The third parameter, the third argument is called like here, will stay the same. So the first parameter will be a JavaScript object where I describe the object I want to identify. So in my case here, I know that I want the ID, underscore ID is the default ID, MongoDB inserts, to be equal to the ID I extract from the request. But this would not work because IDs in MongoDB in the database are actually of type object ID. They are not strings. And MongoDB is a strongly typed database. So types are important there. Therefore, I need to make this an object ID too. To do this, I will scroll to the top, duplicate this line, where we cry MongoDB. And by the way, this is an error here. This should be Mongo client. As you saw, it did work nonetheless, but it should be Mongo client. And here we'll access object ID. And this will be called var object ID. And now what I can do is I can transform this ID to an object ID by just using this variable I just created where I access this object ID in our MongoDB package and well use it as a function where I pass this ID. And this will transform this ID into an object ID which is then the correct type for MongoDB to use it. The next thing is the data I want to change. I'll have a JavaScript object here too and I will use $set. This is the property name MongoDB needs to know, okay, now after the colon follows what the new item should be or what the new item is. In this case, item, of course. So after $set here, I have the new data, which will replace the old data I identified with the identifier specified here as a first argument. That's very important to get right. First argument identifies data, Second argument, after the set property, specified, well, specifies what the new data should be. So this will replace any item, or there will be only one item, with this ID, with this item. The last thing is I will update this text here, save this, restart my server, and then let's have a look. I'll just copy this ID here, paste it here, and give this some title here, as well as some content and some offer. Update this and load the data. As you can see, this was updated, so this worked. Great. Next thing is last thing, I want to be able to delete data. For this, I will copy this part from the update route, because I will, of course, also have an ID, which identifies the data I want to delete. But here I will replace update one with delete one. And I will get rid of the second argument because I don't need any new data. There won't be new data, I will just delete it. But I'll keep the first parameter which identifies the object to be deleted. And that's really all. Now I just 
replace this console log here, reload. Let's copy this ID, insert it here, click delete, and load data. As you can see, it's gone. And this is how you update and delete. Now, as you probably saw when I started typing and you saw my auto completion, there are a lot more operations you can use with MongoDB. And I recommend you just check the official documentation for this. And of course, you will see more in future videos. But to be honest, as you probably saw, this is kind of annoying to do this all by hand every time. And yes, you could refactor this a bit, but there are great extensions of our packages, which build up upon the default MongoDB driver and will give us a more convenient way of interacting with our MongoDB database. And we will see this in the future videos. Bye.